Hi guys, welcome to third video of Sora de Zabon on YouTube, where we're going to learn English with movies and series. As you probably saw in the previous video, we choose a part of a movie in the series and the terms of that part from 3007 movies and series, of course up to this moment. That we know the story with a brief explanation for you without any spoilers. Well, for today's tutorial, we're going to check on Avatar, The Way of Father, that has just been released. The events of this movie, it's about 16 years after Navi's victory against humans. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorial. If we could teach you at least one new idiom, like it. Well, today we wanna see the summary of the beginning of the movie, without any spoilers. In this movie, the enemies of the novice are still humans who want to take over the Panadora. I'm gonna explain you why in continuation. Here, Saul is talking about happiness. But the thing about happiness? It can vanish in a heartbeat. new star in the night and says it's gonna be over very soon he goes in a heartbeat which means very quickly or very soon for example let's go to a strange movie called buried where a person was put alive by a terrorist in a cafe and buried he has a phone there and some guys get money from him to save him he is communicating with government and he asked the government to pay them I mean the terrorists. And the government tell him if it would be possible, we would have done it very quickly. That they use in a hard bit. They're criminals, desperate one to that. They don't care about anything other than getting the money. So pay them, just pay them. Trust me, if it was an option, I would do that in a heartbeat. For next example, we go to Vault Animation, where a girl and her dog are the actors of the science fiction movie. But the dog doesn't notice, and the producer don't want him to find out. And the girl wants to take the dog home, but the producer doesn't allow, and he says, I'm even ready to take you with my daughter in a heartbeat. It means very quickly. Get out of here. Come on. I don't need to think it through. I want to take Vault home. <laughs> Look at this face. I have a little girl at home, love of my life. I would do anything for her. And I would trade her for you in a heartbeat. True story. Let's go to another part of Avatar. When the humans returned, attacked the novice, and they attacked it too. Here, one year passed, and the Selwyn's army attacked it too, one of the humans' tray, to get the bomb and guns. And he sent his sons for bombing. Well, when one of the boys said, let's go down there, the another one disagreed. Bro, you've got to get down there. No way. That and he said, no way. When we definitely disagree with something, we use this tense. For example, in Friends, when Joey is in a commercial, it's cause of make a fool of himself. If you don't know the meaning of make a fool of, check on this link. Anyway, and every time it was played, his friend watched with a great excitement and laughed. And when he asked to turn it off, Rachel says, no way. And even called him by the name of that character, the advisement. Oh. <laughs> There's gotta be a better way. And there is, Kevin. Please turn this off. No way, Kevin. <laughs> the next example is car to animations. Where Matter realized that he has a bomb attached to him. He runs away so no one gets hurt. And when he is asked to wait to help him, he said, No way you might get hurt. Major, stop! No way you can get hurt! After that, he says, No way that will skin us! Daddy will skin us. Pay attention. When we use a skin as a verb, it means to peel. Which has two meaning. The next meaning is to punish. And another, as I told you, is to peel. Here it means that it will punish us. Okay, for next example, we go to Fable Mans, where two of characters talking about their job. And one of them says something new about the work. And his friend says that Buzz may skin you. 
That kind of FPU is not for industrial process control, and it will raise every red flag there is. How many bits? Float 64. 64 bits? 60? You are nuts. And time sharing for 11 operators? They're going to know this is a business machine we're building, and we're all going to get fired. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> GE doesn't build business computers. We do heavy industry processing. You got that straight from the CEO. Ralph Cordner's going to skin you alive. Once Bank of America buys in, this will be profit. For example, for a skin, here it means to peel. We check on Honeywell. In crime mysterious genre, which a person is killed, and in the autopsy, they'll worry you, we won't show any disgusting for you. The doctor says that the killer skinned her, and she was alive for 15 minutes after that. This is a very specific upset. The increased serotonin in the wounds is much higher than the free histamine, so uh, she, she lived about 15 minutes after she was skinned. Powder residue in the neck of the soda bottle shows... In the continue, we go back to dialect. Come on, don't be a wuss. Go on, get back here, you! Ah! His brother told him, don't be such a wuss. He used wuss, it means coward. For wuss, we use two examples of friends. At the first, Rachel used Monica's name in hospital to use Monica's insurance. And then, they go on a day with hospital doctors. And because they don't want their life to be exposed, they don't say their real name. Here, Rachel asks Monica to tell them truth. And Monica says no. And Rachel says, Monica, don't be such a wuss. <laughs> okay, listen, I'm thinking, why don't we just tell them who we really are? I mean, it'll be fine. I really think it'll be fine. It will not be fine. We'll get in trouble. Oh, Monica, would you stop being such a wuss? A wuss? <laughs> Excuse me for living in the real world, okay? So? The next one is from third season, where they want to play football. And Monica's and Russ's mother tell them not to play. Here Russ is talking about this issue, and Monica yells, wuss! Wuss! All right, we're gonna play. <laughs> well, wait a minute, though. How are we gonna get there? Because my mom won't let me cross the street. <laughs> Well, let's go to another part of Avatar, where Jake's children are in the lab and talking. They were able to impregnate Grace Avatar. And here one of the Jake's boys said, So, who do you think knocked her up? <laughs> Pretty sure it was Norm. <laughs> totally. <laughs> who do you think got her pregnant? He was just knocked out. Again, we use friends for this example. I hope you can guess why but I will explain at the end. The first is the part where Brad Pitt shows up. If you don't know the meaning of show up, check this link. Well, in the past, Ross and Brad hate Rachel, and they were on an appointment, so they always hate Rachel. Brad Pitt finds out that Rachel was pregnant with Ross and asks him if he wants to marry her, and Ross said no, and Brad Pitt was cheerful, and he says, you knocked up her and you not marry her. There are truth. <laughs> She's right. Yeah, I mean, we are having a baby together. Hold on. <laughs> you got her pregnant? Yeah. Are you getting married? No. So you knocked her up, but you're not gonna marry her. Dude. <laughs> Anybody? Okay. <laughs> exactly how I imagined it would be. The next example is the exactly next episode of this season, where one of Joey's sister is pregnant, and Joey's talking to his sister that you should marry him. And Rachel stopped him and told him that they're an adult and they can make decisions themselves. Joey said no, she's a stupid, and she got knocked off. Rachel's reaction was interesting. All right, Joey, that is enough. Listen, as beautiful and moving as this ceremony is, this is not legal, okay? They, they don't have a marriage license, they don't have any witnesses, and the groom only has on one shoe. Yay, he took the other one off and hit me with it. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to realize that they are adults and that they can make their own decisions. No, they can't. They were stupid enough to get knocked up. Hey! <laughs> Next, the avatar wants to say he knocked up her. Think about it, right? I mean, he 
the teacher's pet. He's out at the lab with her all the time. And to confirm, and they say because he was teacher's pet, he knocked up her. The teacher's pet means the teacher's favorite person. For next example, let's go to Ferdinand. It's a series about cows that they want to be selected for game ball competition. And here, a new cow entered the group and want to enter the ring of competition. And the other cows are bothering him and say, Look at the elevator. Now is a teacher's pet. Mm. Wow, wow. <laughs> Looks like someone's the teacher's pet. Newsflash. No one likes the teacher's pet. You know what? The next example is animation called The Bad Guys, where there are a series of criminals pretending to be good guys. A person is teaching them, and a snake tells the wolf, I'm worried. You are going to be a teacher's pet. And he said, don't worry, I just want to act normal. Why, what's up? I was just getting a little worried, since you've kind of become a... Become a what? You know, teacher's pet. Getting all cozy with marmalade. Your tail wagging and everything. Well, yeah, because it has to be believable. In the continuation of the boys' joke, they say... There are two avatars out in the woods, all alone. When they were going to wood to do something, he says woods means forest or jungle. For example, in Banshee, in the second season, where two bodies are found in the forest, and one of the policemen is talking to Kai, the famous criminal of the city, who is a suspect. He says, we found two bodies. He answers Manson and Randall, yes, I know. They were carrying meat. And the policeman says, they should not have been shot for this job. Should not have been buried in woods. So, what can I do for you? Well, I'm, uh, I'm just following up on those two bodies we dug up last month. Yeah, Manson and Randall, I'm well aware. Yeah, they, uh, they work for you. They worked for me, yeah. In what capacity? They hauled me, mostly. Right. Not a job you generally associate with getting shot and buried in the woods. No, it's not. And as I told Agent Xavier... In the continuation of Avatar, they're talking about getting pregnant and... Gross! <laughs> Got it. Someone says gross, which means disgusting. Because these are teenagers, they use informal words. That's why we choose the sequence for you. The first example is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, where Clementine and Joel are in a restaurant. And the Clementine tells Joel, could you don't leave your hair on your soap after the bathroom? And Joel confirms and saying, I know it's gross. She's gonna be drunk and stupid now. Hey, would you do me a favor and clean the goddamn hair off the soap when you're done in the shower? It's yeah. Really... Oh, yeah. Gross. Gross. An example for Dexter's series, where the mother wants children to go to their room to be alone with Dexter, and her daughter says, you want to kiss him? Mother says, maybe. And her son's reaction is interesting. He says, gross. Okay, guys, take your cookies into the bedroom to eat. But you never let us eat in our bedroom. Well, I want some alone time with Dexter. Are you gonna kiss him? Actually, yes. Cool. Gross! <laughs> Let's go to last selected part of Avatar. This time we go to people for their reason to attack. Well, at first, the attack commander says, Earth is dying. The Earth is dying. He means that I want a new place to live. So dying has two meanings. Here, it means facing to death. And another meaning is to be into something or be interested in something. For the last example, let's go to three billboards. Directed by Martin McDonough. Bill has cancer and is about to die. He is talking to Mildred and asking her to take down the billboards because of the situation he's in. There's something else, Mildred. I got cancer. I'm dying. I know it. For being in two thousand, let's go to Seinfeld, where Elaine and Jerry go to one of their mutual friends who just had a baby and the baby is so ugly. Elaine even doesn't want to look at her. When the doctor sees the baby and asks her, 
Elaine, do you have a kid? Elaine said, no, I'm dying to have a baby. Pretty gorgeous. <laughs> Elaine, do you have children? Me? Oh, no, but I mean, I'd love to have a baby. I mean, I can't wait to have a baby. I'm just dying to have a baby. <laughs> a beautiful woman like you should. You're quite breathtaking. And you watch the sequence. Each three sentences have same meanings. The commander is explaining... Nothing less than to make Pandora the new home for humanity. But before we can do that, we need to pacify the hostiles. That we have to make this place new home of humanity. And for this, we have to pacify the natives. I want to say something. If you want to never forget the meaning of pacify, you always remember the Pacific Ocean. The commander says that Sully's attack are becoming... Sully's raids are becoming bolder, and more frequent. Bolder and bolder. Let's go to movie Gladiator, where Caesar is upset by his reaction with Maximus and wants to kill him. But because of the people interest, he can't do it because it looks bad. And one of his advisors says that the longer he lives, the people get bolder and bolder. And now they love Maximus for his mercy. So I can't just kill him or it makes me even more unmerciful. The whole thing's like some great nightmare. He is defying you, is it? Every victory is an act of defiance. The mob sees this, and so do the Senate. Every day he lives, they grow bolder. And the last example of this episode, I hope you are tired and have learned a lot of things. Our hardware really stirs up the hornet's nest. The commander blames the software for their failure. We explained this term in our first video that you can see the link and this is the time of that term in the video. You can only watch this part but I suggest you to watch the whole video to learn more things. Thank you for your support. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. If we could teach you something, don't forget to like. Until the next video.